Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 10A notes on right angled uh, triangle trigonometry and trig ratios. So at the end of this, you should be able to say I can recognize opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse from an angle in a right triangle, and also I can identify, I, I can identify sine, cosine, and tangent ratios from an angle in a right triangle. So um, let's just get rolling here. This should be a pretty quick one. So for a right triangle with uh, angle theta, you have uh, three different sides. <clears throat> the one that most people will remember is that the side opposite of the hypotenuse here, sorry, opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse. And again, we usually just write that as H. And the side from this angle to the side that's across from it is considered the opposite. And again, we usually write that as O. And the side next to this that's not the hypotenuse is considered the adjacent. Or A. All right? So those are the three different sides of a right triangle. Um, with that, um, let's take a look at this here. This is example one from page 318. So we're going to find the hypotenuse, the side opposite angle A, adjacent to angle A, opposite of C, and adjacent to C. So regardless of what angle you're talking about, the side across from the right angle is always the hypotenuse. So here is hypotenuse. All right, so the hypotenuse would be side, officially side AC. Okay. Side opposite of angle A would be this here. So this is the opposite if we're talking about angle A. Okay, so side opposite angle A is side BC. And then the side adjacent to angle A, there's two sides that are right next to angle A, but this is already the hypotenuse, so this has to be the adjacent. All right, so that's going to be side AB. Now if we're talking about angle C, now that's a different story. Now the the angle has changed to this here, and the side across from that is this now becomes opposite because we're talking about that angle there. So let's get rid of that there because that changes, and that's going to change, and that's no longer our angle. This is still the hypotenuse, but now again this here is the adjacent side, and Oh, excuse me, not the adjacent, but the opposite side. Alright. Erase that one. Alright. So, sorry, this side over here is the opposite, and this side here is the adjacent. So, if we're looking at the side opposite of angle C, we are at A, B, and then adjacent from angle C is B, C. Alright? Okay, now let's look at our um, ratios. So there's six different trig ratios, uh, and the three that we're going to deal with in this class are sine, cosine, and tangent. And these are the three primary ones. There's also some other ones, but they're not used terribly often. So three main ones are um, the sine ratio is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, and then the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. All right? So um, there's a nice way to remember all those, and that is Sokotoa. You may have heard of that before. Um, so, and the reason, I mean, the reason, the, the reason, yeah, the reason why we use Sokotoa is sine is the opposite side over the hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and then the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Um, I kind of prefer this one here. It makes it a little bit more clear. Sine's opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine's adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent's opposite over adjacent. Okay? So those are our three main trig ratios. All right? So with that, um, the following triangle, we're going to find sine of theta, cosine of, I can't remember what that um, Greek uh, letter is here, but these are theta. Um, we'll figure that out in a little bit. But, um, so we're going to find those three out. So remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent opposite over adjacent. So 
sine of theta. So here's theta. Sine is opposite, which is B over hypotenuse, which is C. So that would just be B over C. Okay. Cosine of this one here, cosine is adjacent, which is B over hypotenuse, which is C. So look, sine of theta and cosine of the other angle end up being the exact same thing. Okay. And then tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So that would be B over A. All right. That's really all that there is for um, right angle trigonometry and trig ratio. So now you should be able to say that I can recognize opposite adjacent and hypotenuse from an angle on a right triangle. And then also you can identify the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios from an angle in a right triangle. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.